14 online. Oh, this is my voice today. <laughs> Maybe I'm getting sick, I don't know. The word will already have reached Nelson Command. The protocol requires that a representative of our order inform the High Commander of the mission's success. The honor is rightfully yours, Yamurai. Once again, I must commend you on a job well done. We shall speak again soon. I definitely don't like this map. I mean, all the little islands spread everywhere. You know, it's hard to get around. Thank you. 
Thank you for coming, Valrai. Word of your triumph, triumph reached me some while ago, but I am pleased to have it personally confirmed. First effort, now Titan. Truly, when I think of your achievements, I feel the loss of the Warriors of Light less keenly, and there can be no greater compliment than that. You and your order are hero. You and your order are heroes. The peace of people of Limsa and Lominsa are forever in your debt. I shall relay the details of your report to Admiral forthwith. Please send my regards to the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. Yamrai, this has been Ophelia. Ishtola has informed me of your success. You have won a great victory for the people of Eorzea, one that shall not be forgotten. And what is more, both you and Ishtola emerged from Ogamora unscathed, while Tatara and the others seemed as glad of that as they did of the Titan's fall. You can look forward to a hero's welcome. We'll be waiting for your return at the Walking Sands. There is much to discuss. Godspeed. Let's see here.
Oh, their ass kicked. This one is glad. Walking one is safe. We'll be awaiting your return at the Waking Sands. There is much to discuss. Godspeed. Thank heavens he is safe. Louis Soir, do you see? Your light shines brightly in this one, and in time, it will illuminate the realm once more. Oh! for the one who slayed Ifrit and Titan. Bring him forth, or you shall know no mercy. <laughs> Confound it. Stay out of sight. I would leave a message with you. I surrender myself on the condition you spare the innocents. Conditions? There speaks the supreme sire. I'll grant you have courage, but you would be better served by armor. Search all you will. The one you seek is not here. So it would seem. And yet you knew to look here. But how? <gasps> Hold that thought. No! Conditions of surrender. Deny. at once have you not done enough perhaps enough we must away though we have not found our quarry the high priestess of the scions should suffice for now they say she also possesses the echo <laughs> I cannot wait to hear her scream Enough. We leave. Bring the prisoners. Walking. Walking one Minophilia asked this one to... In case walking one returned, this one was to say, to say, at church in Eastern Thanland, walking one must claim sanctuary. This one tried, tried to protect walking one Minophilia from Imperial ones. 
forgive this one. Let's save. All she did was get kicked. Oh, that thing's real weak, isn't it?
Is something troubling you, my son? You have the look of one who has endured great suffering. If there's anything I can do to help, anything at all, you need only ask. First man, we uh, have my father, for I have sinned. First man, we father called out to avenge upon those who butchered my friends. The wild rose is in father, and I know not what to do. The wild roses? I see. You may speak freely here. We are all friends of the Scions. How? How could this have happened? And you are certain that Minifili was among those taken by the Garleans? Let's pray no let's pray no further harm comes to them. You may stay here for as long as you wish. It is the least I can do for a friend of the of Minophilius. I have known her since she was but a child. Well, do I recall the day of our Well do I recall the day of our first meeting? I swore then to do everything in my power to support her, and I will gladly offer the same the self-same service to her brothers and sisters at science. Uh, so please, no matter what you require, you will need not, need not hesitate to ask. Marquis, would you come here for a moment? Yes, father? If you require assistance, pray speak with Marquis. He is a trifle shy, but I assure you he means well. I should explain. Marquis is a survivor of the Battle of Cartonou. At last, his experiences took a terrible toll upon his mind. Had we not taken him into our care, he would surely have perished in the desert. <coughs> Marquis, I want you to look after me, Amrai. You understand? Yes, father. Death begets death, especially in those places where privation is the sovereign. <coughs> a course left unbridled is a, is a rich field to Velkin, where they may sow pestilence and water in their miasma. Nowhere is the rule of pri privation so apparent as in Lost Hope, as many may die upon the roadside there, go and claim. For no ties bind these unhappy folk together except a common resortion. Their homelands are no more. But as long as they live, some hope remains, and we shall thwart pestilence ere it begins. Would you deliver this repellent to the den of sorrow? Just my luck. I scavenged, I scavenged this here oven, thinking I could use it to make myself hot meals, but it looks to be in a bad way. Lots of dents, a few holes even. Hey, you're pretty well traveled, ain't you? Ever seen one of these before? Or better yet, know how to fix it? No? Bah. Wait, I know who ought to ask. Mind showing this oven to Marquis for me? He repaired a clock or toy I found once, and maybe he can do something with maybe he can do something with it. Is there something I can do for you? This, this is an alchemist alambic. Alambic. You say the boy wishes to use it for cooking? I suppose it would be possible were I to make some modifications, but I would need a bronze ornament, ornamental hammer to do so. Can you bring me one, Miamurai? You need only go so far as Camp Drybone to find a merchant who sells tools. 
Excuse me, Armour, I do have a moment. It concerns me, this broken horologe, which was found in the pocket of a man here for burial. <clears throat> there is something familiar about it, but just what, just what I cannot say. Perhaps if I tinker with the device, it will come to me. However, I lack the proper tools to do so. I would ask that you journey to Ulda in my stead to obtain a bullpoint chisel and a pair of needle-nose pincers. If you're willing to do this, please note that, as they are uncommon tools, you may need to visit Goldsmith, the Blood Goldsmith Skill and browse the markets in order to find them.
A bullpoint chisel? Why, yes, we happen to have a surplus of that particular tool. By all means, take one if you so desire. Not impressed if you don't mind me saying. It has a very limited number of applications. Welcome, welcome. What might a discerning... My word, did you say a needle nose pincers? You must be a skilled craftsman indeed. Please, take this pair as a gift. By the by, do you have re representation here in exchange? If not, I would be most interested in discussing a partnership. What business do you have here, stranger? Oh, you come from the church of St. Adama Landama. Ah, 
The Vilkin repellent. <clears throat> the good father told me to last moon of this plan. He is a man that keeps his word, and twas kind of him to have it, have you deliver it. Did he tell you where and how these are to be used? I fear I have little knowledge of alchemy. Thank you, stranger. This place may seem wretched to you, but none here would deny, and none here deny would deny it is. But last year, if it had the look of a uh, carnal house, so fiercely did the pestilence rage. Tell Father Elowood we owe him a debt of life. I confess, though, I wonder if we are saved from the plague only to perish in war. We have little love for Garlemand here, and news of them who burned our homes travels fast. What chance does Lost Hope have against a force that plucked Alamingo like a ripe peach? Fight or flee, and we must make plans. Yet few have ears to listen with me, to me. They have too much to fear already. Too many demons to slay every hour. I can convert the uh, alumbatic into a makeshift oven, but only once you have the, brought me the hammer. Thank you, Marmorai. It shan't take more than a day, I believe. 
It's strange, I know I must have learned these skills long ago, but I haven't the foggiest, foggiest when and where that was. Something occurs to me. Please wait here for a moment. It was for naught. Though I repaired the device easily, the sensation that stirs within me remains a mystery. But how... how did I do it? These hands. My hands. They moved with a mind their own, definitely manipulating the clockwork mechanisms. There was no doubt or uncertainty. I knew exactly what to do. As though I had performed the same motions countless times before. Pardon me, Malmarai, this was a mistake. Please give me... Please give the horlog to Sister Illand. The man who once owned it is currently in her care, and I think that it is best to return to him. Thank you, Malmarai. Sometimes, for what ails us in thinking, we find relief in doing. The administration to... The, mins mins the ministrations to exiles is one of the duties of the Church of, of the Saint of Church at Adama Landama. I pray that someday, with the grace of God, they may find again what they have lost. Even to you, sir. Have you come to pay your respects to this man? Never, ha ha never before have I seen such a queer device. You say that it measures the passing of time. Mayhap they are more common in Garlemund. I am given to understand that its cities are filled with a manner of amazing technologies. Marquis said that it belonged to the deceased. Oh dear, you don't suppose that owner might have been a Garlean spy? It may behoove us to notify the authorities in Camp Tribone. Ah, uh, but more perhaps... Well, but may happen more importantly, how did Marquis manage to repair this device? I know he had talent for the trades, but this goes far beyond mending fences and thatching roofs. would like to offer succor to the priests at the Church of St. Uh, Adama Landama. Excuse me, Mamari. You don't know me, but I've observed you're assisting the priests with their work. I, too, would like to offer what succor I have. Uh, since traveling, since sending the literature in this heat can quickly sap one's energies, perhaps a more, a more restorative drink made to combat fatigue would be ideal. Of course, Aqua de Sol. That would surely do the trick. To make it, I need to I need a freshly cut uh, Brazo de Sol. I've not the skill at arms to slay a wild uh, sabbat hunter to soul, but you do. You need only go as far as the spring east of Camp Drybone. The beasts are often sighted in the vicinity. If you bring me one of their arms, I could make enough aqua to soul for everyone. I was like, you don't have to go far. That's far.
Have you considered my request, remember, right? I never imagined that you would return so quickly. Thank you so much. It's an incredibly simple preface to prepare. If, would, if you would wait but one moment. There. That should serve as a sample of... Wait, don't drink it. I mean, I, I was hoping you might give the first glass to Marquis on my behalf. Of course, I didn't intend to provide everyone with the glass eventually. It's just that Marquis is so... He's such a hard worker, don't you think? Oh, Meowmerai, what is it? For me? Why, thank you. Was it perhaps the girl who... No, no, it couldn't have been her. I appreciate Ilsum's kind gesture, but Father Ilu is in far greater need of this use. His work places greater strain on his body and soul, yet he continues to neglect his health. to work in adventure. You can work some for me today. See, the father asked me to mend this vestment, but look, both the weft and the and the weave's gone, there and there. I'll need more cloth than I have. There's a merchant at Black Bar Station right now. He'll give you what you need. Hurry on. Off to Central Flanelon you go. Rousing himself from external gloom, Baron seems thankful for your presence. Okay. The sun has shown up upon a terrible sight today. One of the breeze wished to place upon the grave of uh, of his beloved, a sprig of Alpha Clavender. He stayed far, for, for the flower is sparse in these parts, and yet he was grievously wounded by fiends. Grief makes us all show all slow in wits and limb, and I fear that these attacks will not cease until the creatures are gone. I pray you, banish the foul things. They were last seen to the east, near the remnants of a gobu. There is that turn. Where is that turn head? We have already waited some hours for my cousin, and he still dallies. And still he dallies Thal knows where. He is ever late. I do not understand why he cannot simply depart early. Still, I confess, I am fond of the fool. I would go to look for him, but his route winds close to the Halatali training grounds, and they say it is a romp of beasts there. The beasts are most of the most dangerous kind. You are an adventurer, and surely this is the sort of thing that... Oh, I don't know. Makes you your blood sing, heart boil, or some piffle? Would you look for my feckless cousin? I recognize you. I recognize you now, Maria Mariah. Allow me to express my deepest condolences, condolences for those who lost their lives in the attack. I apologize if discussing it, this upsets you, but you should know that the bodies of your comrades are presently being removed from the waking sands and prepared for transport here. If you wish to leave this work to others, I understand. However, taking part might help you find closure.
Thank you, thank you, and thank you thrice. Saw those rather nasty brutes coming and thought, well, nothing much really beyond the, ah! They really should have, they really should take all lotly down. This place has absolutely gone to pot. Oh, look at the time. Mustn't keep the barrel waiting too much longer. I suppose my cousin, uh, Fuandrek, she of the overwrought corset is none too pleased. Came from Digiju, did you? I was wondering where she'd gone to. Stopped by her shop the other day. Was going to offer a cup of tea. She missed a nice one. An amber up an amber tip from Corthius. Her, her usual, I'm assuming. The tattered linen? Yes, sir. Now don't go misappro misappreh 
don't go misapprehended. It's nice to saw, so she can pulls out the threads and reweaves what she's mended. Here, here you go. Thank you. He's absolutely incorrigible, but to think we might have had to bury him as well. Then again, that's one barrel he he wouldn't have been late to. That's it. There's the thought. There you are. Did you get what I needed? Much appreciated, adventure. Now... Now we'll see how nimble these fingers are. The father needs this right soon, he said. Going to going on some priestly business. This is a piece piece of piss compared to the last order, though. Excuse the salty talk. Twas a big twas as big as a house and and burnt as a slattern slattern's supper. Father Iliad bought it, but it looked to be for that lichkeeper fellow. When the struck, it sundered lights everywhere. Not only among our races, and not only among our races. Look around, and you will see how things have fallen apart. Feet, claws, roots—all have been torn from the earth by. All from torn from the earth they were planted on. The dead Gubdu was a child of Corthius. The calamity shattered its native mountain, and it fled before destruction as a caravan flies before a sandstorm. Yes, it wandered. We found it dying and received its memories. It had gathered seeds from every land it had passed through, and they flower upon its corpse. A living map of its loss and exile. North to south, mountains to the desert. Cloudberry and shooting stars. Maribels and cliff roses. Althic lavender from lower Thanalan. Even rosels from Bloodshorn. To wander is a dream and a nightmare. Adventurers such as yourself must know, know, know it better than I. But I imagine there are days when the flames of adventure gutters and you feel yourself to be as bereft of those in lost hope. And upon us, no flowers grow. God, this guy's talking. I swear.
quest. It's gonna be a while before I get to bringing out the dead. But I suppose we should stop it there. I think. Right? Yeah. Uh, anyway, this is Out of Prosper. You want your Final Fantasy XIV online? It's a lot of fun. If you aren't already into it. Uh, then I think it's a good time to play again. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching. I will see you at the next stream.